Well, hey, there are a lot of changes at both WSU and the U of I. We're on University of Idaho's campus now, and now that the sun is rising and students are getting up and ready for the day, I got to just say there are a lot of students waiting for the rec center here. They're actually behind our camera right now, but uh, yeah, wow, way to go <laughs> students. I don't think I was this motivated on the first day of classes to be up this early and already head to the gym. But anyways, again, welcome at, from U of I's campus in Moscow. We are here talking about a lot of changes. You know, you think about the last year and a half, there has been so much changes to our lives and that includes on campus college living and campus classes. So at U of I, something that's different than WSU is that U of I actually never really closed. They had in-person classes all last year they were actually one of the most proactive schools in terms of an aggressive approach to how they would attack COVID and restrictions to try and keep things as normal as they could. So they were one of the first campuses to implement a mask policy last year so they could keep students on campus. But uh, that taught them a lot and that prepared them for this first day of class of how in-person classes would be offered. So hope, they are hopeful that they can move forward with bigger in-person events. And that doesn't include just on-campus learning, but that includes sporting events. And they tell me that that really has a lot to do with really building that on-campus experience and community. They really believe that that'll help retain students. So one thing that you will want to know on U of I's campus is that there is a mask requirement back this year and it's really for indoors, but they do ask that students wear masks if they are in congested areas on campus. Another big change this year is that there's more flexibility in on campus housing. So students are allowed to pick their roommates this year based off their comfort level. So, you know, some students say they only wanted to room with vaccinated uh, students and some who were not vaccinated chose to room with those that were unvaccinated but they're also again doing all the traditional things really encouraging hand sanitizing hand washing and social distancing but again they say the big thing this year that they want to bring back is engagement because a student said loud and clear that that was the hardest part of the last school year engaging in a learning environment in person is the number one form of engagement that students participate in on a college campus it's also one of the most critical uh, components to their learning experiences being in those classes so students will see more in-class requirement expectations than they did last year so this year the school is also offering a vaccine incentive so you can get 50 dollars for getting the vaccine and then they're also doing a lottery as well, a tuition lottery. They're giving away 10 $1,000 scholarships for getting the vaccine, and then they're giving two $5,000 tuition credits towards students who get the vaccine. Should mention though, the vaccine not required at U of I's campus, different than WSU's requirements. Uh, U of I tells me that they actually don't require any vaccines for any other diseases or any other illnesses. And uh, who you just heard from was the Dean of Students and also the Vice Provost for Student Affairs. And one thing that I asked him is about enrollment because, you know, this really changed the trajectory excuse me, a hard word to say. It changed a lot of people's paths for students going through college. And he tells me that, uh, you know, they did see a little bit of a dip last year because students weren't able to engage. But he says numbers for enrollment are back up this fall. Well, I, we're hearing from a lot of students saying they're just going to take a pause right now and come back uh, when, when COVID is behind them. And, you know, we can't do anything but respect that. People have to make choices that are going to be best for them. Um, but we always remind students we're here and ready for them to come back. So something really cool is that every single year the students read a common reading book that's pretty traditional at many college campuses. So all the freshmen this year, they're reading the book. The title is called Grit. And really it's about how to persist during trying times. And that author is Angela Duckworth. And I just can't really think of a better fitting book for the students here at U of I and really all of us and students all over the country. You know, you think about everything that these students had had to go through in the last year. There's nothing easy about it, nothing traditional about it. And we all needed to kind of build that extra layer of grit. And that's what these students will need because it's still not normal. And new, what a normal looks like now is 
who knows? But what we do know is that we need grit to get through these times right now. And I think it's very fitting that that's what the common reading book is this year. But, you know, a very exciting, bustling morning here on campus. You heard the garbage trucks going by, campus dining, and uh, students heading to the rec center and ROTC. And gosh, it just feels so good to have college campuses feel a little bit back to normal with uh, students back here on campus. So, uh, yeah, a lot going on here in Moscow. And we're reporting live in the U of I. I'm Tim Pham. I'll send it back to you in the studio.